Okay, good morning, viewers. Now, in my experience of uh, rearing turkey pot, noilas, and leas, I noticed something. The bears are usually fine from week one to six when you're using normal vaccination schedules, drugs, and everything. But from week six, they usually come down with Newcastle and foul box, no matter the kind of vaccinations you give them, depending on the area of family. You see, their faces begin to sweat. They usually have the wet fashion of the foul box, especially if it's dry season. And usually, you give them the normal uh, animal drugs, normal animal antibiotics, but it seems not to work. I know farms that it has wiped out their whole flock, sometimes as little as a new, a new castle and foul box. Which led me to my research on how to tackle those issues because the prices of animal drugs now are really, really high. And there's not everybody that can afford it. So how do you save your pets? Most of the organic is usually for prevention. But when they are down, they are down. You can't expect to give a bed that its respiratory system has been blocked with all those lesions. Basically, what foul box does, the wet form, it causes lesion in the trachea of all these beds, the respiratory tract. And then these lesions, it's not what kills them. It is the secondary infections from these lesions because now all the whole bacteria has free passage now has a free passage to enter into their tracheas and that's what usually kills these beds so what i did was after research from my gathered knowledge from even local farmers and i'm going to share with you what i did that worked after i started administering this treatment to the beds that were sick I didn't lose anyone. So the first secret that we neglect is raising beds feeders. Once they are from four weeks, we have to raise their feeders off the ground. This will cost a huge, it will save you huge cost because you won't have much mortality when you raise their feeders and their drinkers on the ground. But don't ever neglect that by keeping their feeders on the ground. It must it will just cause serious spread of disease from them defecating in their feet. Now, the secret to controlling spread of Newcastle, foulpox, or any other viral disease, because there is no cure for them, is just to be treating the secondary infection. Now, let's take it like a normal viral infection, the way we, uh, we handle HIV AIDS. There is no cure for it. All you can do is to be treating the, the opportunistic infections that comes as a result of weakened immune system. Now take that and apply it to beds too. The virus doesn't, it's not there to kill them, it just weakens their immune system and causes lesions that makes it easier for other bacteria, opportunistic bacteria to enter inside. What do I do? When I notice a sick bed, immediately I isolate it. I take it to the hospital, I call the hospital, where there's fresh sawdust, there's feed, and there's water. But these beds cannot absorb the water. So what do we do? We assist them by injecting these drugs with a syringe in their mouth, not in their system, but just using the syringe without the needle, putting it in their mouth. Now, for those that cannot afford animal drugs, what you need is, you need oxytetracycline, the human one, which is even more effective than animal drugs. You need oxytetracycline, you need amoxiline, you need a septrin, I need paracetamol. Amoxicillin for all those tylosine based infections, those uh, tylosine sensitive bacteria. Septrin for is usually used to treat flu. That's cold. So you give them to, in the same way you give it to beds. Paracetamol is to ease the suffering of the bed and like reduce inflation. It's an anti inflammation. And lastly, of moxilin. Moxilin is a broad, broad spectrum antibiotic. So you mix it for every 10 beds, you use two tablets, two tablets, two tablets. That's the formula for every 10 beds, two, 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 two of this. 
you can just even buy the pack and keep it in your house so for all these beds we use two 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 that's a mixture mix it in water make it concentrated then we give each bed 0.2 meals morning afternoon and evening morning afternoon and evening provide them with feed and clean water and you see that you won't even lose one of these single bed in a new castle or foul box outbreak you don't need to no, don't follow these people that say you boss the lesions mm -hmm. naturally after one week or even less these caps fall off on their own so there's no need to buy all those expensive iodine and everything and clean all these deletions that should not be your focus the focus is to make the bed as comfortable as possible during that period and prevent opportunistic infections this is not from uh, reading articles or so i've practiced it it has worked for me and if i was on my farm currently now i would have made videos of the process but maybe next time when i bring a new batch of um, cockerels because what i'm planning to do next is cockerels if i bring a new batch of cockerels i will show you guys in case there's an infection which i know by now won't have that kind of case again thank you